with the surprise giving um, of for the very elegant parts you have got behind, John, John, I will introduce and tell you anything you need to know about the event that took place. I'm going to hand over to John. Thank you, Gail. We've, we've cut the speech dangerously short uh, for the purposes of YouTube. So if it makes no sense, there'll be a question-answer at the end. Um, with all projects, there comes the time to give out the prizes. This exciting project for South Africa is the culmination of a lot of work by a lot of people. Without the Americans, Jakub, Suvai and Danny, this project would not have even been thought up. The three founders, along with Marissa and myself, as co-founders, were the seeds of the project. A big thank you to Harvard University and all the funding you pumped in to the Dream Design Tour. You have no idea the impact you have had. A big thank you to Patrick Schofield, who, with his Thunderfund.com platform, enabled us to actually raise the funds to make this all happen. Um, thank you to the numerous funders, both corporate and private. And, and one of the most significant thank yous goes to Ed Chandler. I think Ed Chandler has already left. Um, his office, uh, he challenged his office to help us reach our funding threshold. The funding threshold, without reaching the threshold of 10,000, we wouldn't get the 10,000 matching funding from the city of Cape Town. So a big thank you to the city of Cape Town for your 10,000. And without um, that, we wouldn't get the matching funding. And it was just fantastic, the help that he enabled for us to essentially optimize Patrick's platform. Um, Oh, yeah. And that was all because of World Design Capital. So that was very, very important because without it having been World Design Capital, I wouldn't have been able to actually steer all these people into a state of cooperation with one another. Um, ah, yes. And then obviously the biggest thank you to Klaus Fulbrücker, who is the mold maker. So I approached Klaus with a drawing and said that I want, uh, I, I want these people to have a vase which has a flat surface, possibly a coffee mug shape and a bangle shape, so that it was versatile that people could surface design, that it wasn't too complex, too suggestive, that it was a very neutral form. Um, and Klaus, it was just such a pleasure to work with him. He is the best in the industry, and yeah. it was just amazing. And thank you to Craig Leslie. Is Craig here? Craig Leslie from uh, Cape Pottery Supplies, who facilitated this project in the most amazing way, while sort of denying all the time that he was facilitating it. So that was really, really amazing, how he'd say, no, we can't help you, but we are doing this, and anyway and you know it was it was very subtle but um, very empowering at the same time so thank you to Craig Leslie um, thank you to Cape Gallery to Gail for actually hosting the wrapping up party of the show um, you have been a pleasure to work with uh, and thank you to all of those who entered uh, and it really did we were we were really really frightened because you all then entered at the last minute. So, uh, but that was true Cape Town fashion, to all, all cross the finishing line at the last possible moment. And uh, so we were very surprised. And uh, a big personal thank you from me to Trevor McGowan from Source SA. And she's my agent that makes me the money that enables me to actually facilitate and do all these goodwill projects that I do do. So. Trevor McGowan, you are essentially my fairy godmother. Without you, um, I'd be working much harder. Um, and um, 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 
Lastly, thank you to Naomi Takamoto from Sweden. She's uh, here on an on a internship and a learning project. And she's actually been facilitating all the communications between our Magic American team and the different people in South Africa. So that's been fantastic. Now for some prizes. So if uh, Naomi can hand over third prize, you on the spot. Uh, third prize is... Uh, it's not a sponsor? Yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nada is a fantastic ceramicist working from Pinelands and she will be on the Potter's Market on the 21st of March. So Potter's Market, see her stuff um, and uh, so she's not only good at surface design, she also makes surfaces as well, so go check that out. Um, and to hand over second prize, Gail, would you hand it over because you're so instrumental in... Well, um, second prize is uh, Sherry Prince. is not only a hero but also a teacher if you're looking for classes join her school because you want to learn from the best <laughs> Thank you. and Peter van Straten can you come up and hand over first prize because you are truly a role model within an industry that is highly creative oh wait 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 no Patrick Schofield sorry I'm misreading <laughs> so Patrick from Dungeon Fund, we had you at the earlier one. Um, so Patrick, um, can you hand over to Rodney G? Rodney G, do we have Rodney in the house? And being the winner, we want you to say a few words. Okay, um, thank you. I guess that this is my... Can you cash this? You can? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I prefer to have a fair few words about it. No, I'm not getting quite long. Um, my name is Rodney. Um, my surname is pronounced G, not Geek. G is um, <laughs> in genial, not G as in Geek. <laughs> For those that don't recognize me from my Facebook banner, um, my hair is also gone the way of load shedding. <laughs> yeah, speaking of hair, I went to the theatre two days ago. I went to Takai Medicross Day Theatre and they removed my wisdom teeth, which explains why my face looks like a button that and why there's a lack of wisdom in this speech. <laughs> I told John on the phone that at least I'll have a rugged jawline. <laughs> but I've heard that all these artists typed are all on drugs, which I well am on. Painkillers, <laughs> antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, and a whole range of takeaways. <laughs> when it comes to this vase, apart from the judges, you know, not everybody's crazy about it. My wife <laughs> was very dubious about the vase. Um, I even saw in a Facebook conversation that somebody described the vase as a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm cool with that. I mean, imagine if all our tastes were exactly the same. I mean, we'd all be, and I can't pronounce this word, believers, believers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, regarding my vase, um, my process of creating artwork tends to evolve. I do a lot more planning up front and I set the goal of the piece. And for this, I want it to be bold, distinctive, energetic, contemporary and demanding your attention. And that was the concept behind it. So rather than just starting off at one point and doing a sandcastle, I started just going in a direction of what I wanted from it. And I hope it's that and not much of a nightmare. Um, finally, I'd like to thank you to Ceramics United for organizing such a wonderful event. There's three Harvard students. What a wonderful dream they What a wonderful dream they dreamt. And to all the sponsors of this project, 
Thank you. <laughs> um, the international judges who have given me this amazing opportunity, the enig enigmatic John Bauer for being an inspiration for this project, uh, Naomi, Kate Gallery, and all the other participants who probably spent a fair amount of time just like me, staring at a white vase, rolling it over and over and over, going, what am I going to do? <laughs> and finally to you, lovers of all things arty, and this creative mess that fills our souls. Thank you. Any questions from the floor? I declare these winners brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.